What's going on, everybody? This is Pastor Paul once again from Set Free Ministries. Man, I'm so excited this morning because I'm going to be able to go and minister today at a buddy of mine's uh, church uh, teaching on leadership and what would cause the leadership within themselves to be blocked or any curses or anything that they're holding on to that is not allowing their leadership to continually flow. And I'm also so excited too because my man Eric Wilson and Chris Daugherty are on their way right now to Snyder, Texas to the Daniel unit to go and minister to some kingdom men that are waiting. There's about going to be about 100 men. They're going to be able to mentor and just give a good word from the Lord. And one of the things that I'm going to be talking about today in the leadership um, training is it's more of a teaching, not a preaching. It's not a sermon. It's more of um, empowering them with the ability and to let them know their responsibility of what God has called us to do as leaders. One of the things that I'll be talking about today is constantly putting your hands to the plow, constantly moving forward in everything that you do. So many times we want to focus on just one thing in our life and we feel that that is enough. For some people, that's cool. People like me who are direct, people who are commanders, people who are able to delegate, people who are able to be business-minded and continue to just push forward. We're constantly putting our hands to something. We're constantly staying busy. Now, that could either be a curse or it can be a blessing. There's two types of staying busy. There's the busy that's effective with a purpose or there's busy running from something that you don't wanna deal with. That's one of the key points that I'm gonna be talking about today at my man, Pastor Gabe's church. And so I just wanted to share that with y'all today to keep us all in prayer. There's a lot of ministry going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of movement going on in the spirit right now. But there's a few key things that I wanna talk about and I just wanna let you know, don't stay focused on only one thing. Jesus called those who were busy already. He didn't call those who were just focused on themselves or just doing one thing. He had fishermen, but along with them fishing, they weren't just out there casting a pole. They were constantly working. They were pulling the nets. They were cleaning the nets. They were making new nets. They were they were uh, scheduling new days. They were doing all those things. The Bible only gives us a short portion of what they did. When you look at uh, the Apostle Paul on his mission, he was building tents. He made money. He did what he had to do to be able to go and provide for his ministry. He did all these things. There's certain things that we have to continue to do, and it's not just staying focused on one thing. So I hope this blessed you today. Keep us all in prayer. Let's stay on track with what God's called us to do. And if you are somebody who is constantly moving, don't be afraid and don't worry. Don't let anybody hinder you from doing what God has called you to do. And those who are focused on one thing, if that's your capability, then go for it. But either way, on either side of the spectrum, there's no right or no wrong. There's only seeking God's kingdom. And if we don't seek that first, nothing else will be added to us. So this is Pastor Paul once again with DFWSetFree.com. Subscribe to my page, subscribe to this channel, and let's get these videos viral. God bless you.